What is the solution to this pair of equations? 2x minus y is 4 and 3x plus 4y is 9. Remember, geometrically, we're looking at where these two lines intersect each other. And if they don't intersect each other, then we'll end up with no solution. And the third possibility is that we'll end up with an infinite amount of solutions, meaning that the two lines are actually just the same line. And to solve this one, I'll use the addition and subtraction method to eliminate a variable. And the variable that I'll eliminate is x. So if we multiply the top equation on both sides by 3, and if we multiply the bottom equation on both sides by 2, then the coefficient on x will be the same in each equation. So the first equation becomes 6x minus 3y is equal to 12. And the second equation becomes 6x plus 8y is equal to 18. Now, since the coefficients on x are the same, we can subtract the second equation from the first, and that way we'll have 6x minus 6x, which is 0. And now we'll only be left with an equation involving y, which we can solve for. So minus 3y minus 8y would be negative 11y. And here we have 12 minus 18, which is minus 6. So solving for y, dividing each side by negative 11, y is equal to 6 over 11. And now that we have y solved for, we just need to plug this back into one of the equations. And I'll plug it into the second one. And after plugging our value of y into this equation, we can solve for x. So our second equation becomes 3x plus 4 times 6 over 11, and that's equal to 9. So if we simplify, we have 3x plus 24 over 11 is equal to 9. And then subtracting 24 over 11 on each side of the equation, we have 3x is equal to 9 minus 24 elevenths. And then we need a common denominator. So on the right-hand side, we'll use the denominator of 11. And 9 times 11 is just 99 minus 24, and then we can simplify. 3x is equal to 75 divided by 11. Now dividing each side of the equation by 3, we can just divide 75 by 3 so that we have x is equal to 25 over 11. And since 11 is prime and doesn't go into 25, this is as simple a fraction as we can make it. But we can also write this as a mixed number. Since 11 goes into 25 twice, and we have 3 left over, so 2 and 3 elevenths would be our solution for x. And if we combine our two answers from x and y, we know that the two lines intersect at the point 2 and 3 elevenths, and at a y value of 6 elevenths. So this is our final answer.